You love him madly, don't you, schmuck? Mr. Mushnick, you scared me. I, I... I scared him? After what I seen, I scared him? Oh, you think I didn't know, huh? Oh, are you? I do. You lay down here on your pathetic little cot and dreamed about her. But I didn't know the lengths to which you'd go, the depths to which you'd sink. What depths? What sink? What are you talking about? Little red dots all over the linoleum. Little red spots on the concrete outside. I'm talking blood, Krellborn. I'm talking under my own roof. An axe murderer. He's got your number now. I saw everything. He knows just what you've done. Everything you did to a boyfriend. You've got no place to hide. I saw you chopping. You've got nowhere to run. It's true. I chopped him up, but I didn't kill him. He knows your life apart. Come to the police. I think it's supper time. <laughs> come on, come on. Think about all those offers. Come on, come on. Your future with Andre. Come on, come on. Ain't no time to turn squiddies. Come on. I swear on all my spores. When he's gone, the world will be yours. Yours. You know, Krellborn, it kills me doing this, but considering you're almost like a son to me, I'm thinking. Maybe we don't have to go to the police. You don't? I'm thinking. What if I kept my mouth shut and gave you a wrong way to take it out of town? You do that, sir? You could lay low for a while, say 30, 40 years. Meanwhile, I would keep the plant. Plant? Of course. You'd have to teach me how to take care of it while you're away. Give me secret gardening tips. But then, if you'd rather hang... What do I have to do? Just feed it. Just feed it what? Minerals? Yes. Thursdays, you should give it water. Oh, yes. But whatever you do. Yes. Whatever you do. Yeah. Sir? Ah. 